Okay, so I just imported this photo from Lightroom into Photoshop. It's a raw image, and what I want to do as soon as I get in Photoshop is take a look at the level of blacks. And I do that with a threshold adjustment layer. You can find that down here in the adjustment panel. Just click there. It's down towards the bottom. This is how it'll come up. And what you want to do is drag the slider all the way to the left and slowly start to drag from left to right. And what you'll see is the darkest parts of your image will start to show up in black first. And as you continue to slide the slider from left to right, more and more of the image will come in. And so this is good. We're seeing the foreground first and then the midground. And as we progress, you'll start to see that we get to a point where most of the background is black. Uh, we actually have a layer here that appears to be more black than even some of the background layers that are actually further away. And so these are the types of things I'm looking for to potentially change and edit in order to increase a sense of depth. And I'm using threshold to really help me hone in on those specific areas. So you can also slide it from right to left and this will show you your brightest areas, um, typically the sky or your subject, but also in this case we have some white waves that happen to be catching highlight. So in that we discovered that this hill back here is quite a bit darker than even some of the further hills. So this is something to keep in mind. Before I move on, I like to analyze also the level of saturation. And I'll do that, you can do that here by just grabbing uh, the eyedropper tool. And with the eyedropper tool selected, just go around and uh, select here. You'll also wanna have the color. And I actually prefer the new color wheel. Uh, this is great for complementary colors, but what we're really gonna focus here is on the saturation. As we click around the image, you'll notice up here, we have a level of saturation for that point sample. And you can expand it out a little bit. As you continue to go through the image from foreground to background, you would expect to see that saturation falls off. Unless, of course, your subject in the background is getting hit by direct light. So we'll click here, we see 17%. We click here, close to 18%. Here, 26%. Here, 29, 31. So we're seeing actually that we have a drop off from the foreground to the midground, but then from the midground to the background, we actually have quite a bit of saturation. And this could be for any number of reasons, the lights, the clouds, sometimes you want it that way. But if we're really trying to create a sense of depth, as I am here in this image, which is a very high ISO image, and I'm just trying to create a really surreal sense of, of depth and mood to this image. I really want the eye to travel from foreground through the midground into the background. With any number of options available here in Photoshop or in Camera Raw, you can select these layers and adjust them. I've gone ahead and done that in a, a TIFF file, and I wanna show you that here. So just look here at the screen, and I'm just gonna to toggle that on and off, and you'll see kind of the difference that it makes. There's some other edits too, but you'll notice here how we can kind of fade off into the distance. This is before, we kind of, our eye kind of stops here and gets stuck. And then here, in this case, we can really travel through and out the scene. That's how I analyze my images for the level of blacks and the levels of saturation, both which can help improve your scene's sense of depth.